Good day, my wonderful people. You are on to Accelerate News. I am your homeboy, Aka Nani, and I will deliver it to you the way you like it. So, stay with me. Following the controversy surrounding the alleged fraudulent fundraising campaign for an ovarian cancer patient, Mayawa Ahmed, there are allegations that the patient's family, including all those involved in the campaign's hashtag SaveMayawa, used her bad state of health to defraud or suspecting Nigerians. In view of this, popular Yoruba movie actress Toyin Ayemako, who played a major role in soliciting funds for the treatment, has told her own side of the story. She claimed to have helped the, with publicity because she was moved by the situation. However, she has realized that there might be a scam involved and apologizes to everyone who contributed while encouraging them to remain benevolent in the future. In case you have not heard, the Lagos state government has put aside 25 billion naira available as a loan for young people in Lagos. Yep, you heard me right. However, this employment trust fund will cater for only the unemployed and the aspiring entrepreneurs who are resident in Lagos. Interestingly, regardless of your state, tribe, religion, gender or political affiliation, you can come and collect the money if and only if you are a registered resident of Lagos State. What are you waiting for? Hurry up to the nearest local government where you reside and register. Good luck. Adekunle Gold, who just released his anticipated debut album Gold, has said that he is not leaving YBNL. The singer was signed in December 2015 by Olamide to his successful YBNL outfit along with Lil Kesh. The latter has already left with reports stating that Adekunle Gold will follow him out the door by the end of the year. But the singer has denied the report stating that he is not leaving the record label. People must know too much, he said to Pulse. They must be in YBNL to know this gist. There's no such thing. I am not leaving YBNL. The singer who originally scheduled the release date of his album for 28th July 2016 moved it closer to the released album date July 25th 2016 to surprise his fans. So, in case you are one, go grab your copy now. So someone gave Kanye West his phone back and he's done what he does best. A Twitter rant. But don't get mad at him yet, cause for once, it wasn't all about him. In a series of tweets, Kanye tweeted about how he wanted Tidal, the music service owned by his close friend and frequent collaborator Jay-Z and Apple Music to hurry up and stop fighting. There have been rumors swirling that Apple was looking to acquire Tidal, but before now, no one knew any details. From what Kanye said, it will appear that Apple is playing some serious hardball and is delaying everybody. Will they manage to figure this out? Only time will tell. Before I head up, don't forget to catch the latest episode of On The Real tomorrow at 5 p.m. right here on Accelerate TV. And if you miss it, never fear, because there's an encore on Ebony Live TV at 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday. All right, guys, that's it for today on Accelerate News. For more juicy news and entertainment, stay glued to your website, AccelerateTV.com.